in this video i'm going to show you how to download additional or new fonts and add them to your photoshop and this is coming up <laughs> hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so when you install photoshop by default any version you may have different type of fonts that has been installed already a typical example is arial times new roman and other fonts that you can think of but also you may chance on some fonts like my favorite poppins that you may want to add it to your collections but how do you do that so if you check over here you realize that i'm currently using poppins and when you go to my font collections i have a lot of them that i've installed and most of them that i don't use i think it's something that all of us does we download a lot of fonts and then we don't normally use them so there are so many of them that you can download for free and in this video i'm going to show you where to get that how to download it how to install it and how to use it let's jump right into the video okay so there are two ways in doing this the first one is when you know the font name and then you can easily put it into any browser in this case i'm using google chrome so let's say you find out a font from a tutorial or maybe an inspiration website like pinterest or behance you can just put in the name and in this case i'm going to use my favorite poppins so you put in the font name poppins and then you are going to add font download and this is going to take you to different sites that you can actually download the font sometimes you may also want to add free to it so that you would realize whether or not the font is free or not so you can see here that it has given you different type of um, websites that you can download this from so the first one is going to be fonts google and we have free fonts family we have a font a lot of them that you can download it from so let's choose the very first one google fonts so a website like google fonts will give you how the font is going to appear it will give you different types so this is at a regular 21 pixels you can see how it has been displayed in different types and then you can see the font family also over here you can further read about the license there are some fonts that are free there are some that you can use for personal use and there are some that you can use for commercial use so you may want to read about that also and when you are done with all of this you can easily go and download the font family mind you the font family is going to give you when you check over here it means that it is going to give you in different types so we have the thin the thin italic the extra light all of them is in the font family so when you click on this it is going to download as a zip file for you that contains all the fonts so you can go ahead and download it now you can see that the poppins has downloaded so poppins.zip and since this is going to download as a zip file for you you may have to install either power iso or windra so that you can be able to open this app extract it and then you can install it i'll leave links in the description if you want to download power iso or winra so after this has downloaded you can directly open it from here or you can go to your download folder and then you are going to open this now there are two ways to install this you can either extract all of these and install them separately or so that you can install them at once or if you have time like myself you can just double click on each of them one after the other and then you are going to install them so you realize that it starts from the black to the thin or the thin to the black so any one of them that you want to install sometimes you don't want to install all of them but then any one of them that you want to install for for instance the medium here you can just double click on it and then it is going to open up for you you click on install and then it is going to install in your photoshop now you realize that since i've already installed this font it says that you do want to replace it so i'm just going to click on no that is basically how you do it when you know the name of the font so the second option is when you don't know the exact font that you want to download so you actually want to browse for different fonts for your photoshop in this case there are also two options the first one is you can use the different type of font sites that i will list in the description so we have on, we have sites like 1001.com thefont.com i'll leave links in the description if you want to use them or you can search for something like um let's say 
calligraphy font so you can search for calligraphy font and what this is going to give you is that it is going to list a lot of websites that you can download calligraphy fonts from so you realize that the font that i just mentioned font 101001font.com it's here so you can click on that and it says that it has over 4500 calligraphy fonts that you can download for free so you can click on this one and then it is going to list out different type of calligraphy fonts and one of my favorites here is scriptina great vibes i've been using all of these ones so let's find just one and download it straight from onset so that you can know exactly how it works so we have this one here that says benny graphic so all that you need to do is come here and click on download for this font it also is going to download in winra or zip file for you so you make sure you install winra now after it has downloaded click on it to open it and then you can go ahead and double click on the font and then you can install this all right so now you realize that once it installs there is no going to be an option for you to install again and now we need to go into our photoshop and see if benny graphic is there all right so i have my font over here i'm just going to double click on this one to change it and then i'll go to the font box over here and i start typing benny graphic and you realize that benny graphic is right over here and yes just like that you install different fonts you can download as many as you want but you just have to make sure that it is either used for personal or commercial use so that you don't interchange them and get punished for that also on website like 1001 fonts you can see that there are a lot of different types that you can check out over here so we have elegant we have brush we have cursive depending on the type of font that you so if you are looking for fonts for wedding for instance you can also come here and download as many as you want so that is how to easily download and install font in your photoshop i hope this video was helpful if it was subscribe to the channel is so very much appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye